Hey guys, Zix here. Today we are going to talk about change of character or chotch. Now I've heard some people call it a chalk and in my brain it makes sense because change of character, right? So chalk. However, it also sounds like nails on a chalkboard and so I can't stand calling it that. Um, so I call it a chotch because that to me makes more sense and it's a funnier word. So here we go. Before we talk about change of character, by the way, this is Bitcoin. Before we talk about change of character, uh, it's important to know what we're actually trying to accomplish, right? The idea for a change of character is a switching of trends, right? So we're, we have ourselves an uptrend, like a so, like a so, this is an uptrend, right? Well, at some point it turned into a downtrend, right? Oh, hey, get out of here. And the idea is to know when it changed to a downtrend, what actually triggered that to happen. Um, so we're going to explain that right now. How this is uh, and, and a short preview on how it's tradable, but that's really not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to understand what a chotch is and hopefully we can keep it short. So pretty clearly right here, this is an uptrend, right? What is an uptrend? Let's actually start from uh, the bottom here. We could, we go from a low and we have a higher high, right? Higher high and then we have a higher low. So right now we have a, a high of here. We have a low of here. We have a higher low here. We made a new high right here. We stopped down here. We made another higher low. We made a new high right here. We made another higher low. We made a new high we made a new low that was lower than the previous lowest highest low. Then we did this, made a new low here, have not yet made a new high. So that's where we're at there. So how do we know? How do we know? We're going to take a horizontal ray and we're going to mark out all of these levels. Uh, it's good to, you know what, actually let me, um, change this color to something that's not so dark so it's not uh here let's just do like a light gray there we go that way it's not covering up so we have we have we started from uh where we started from here uh so let's do a let's do a ray there we had our next we had our high right here we did that um now when it comes to determining the next low you don't actually determine that low until it forms a new high so once we broke this line right here, that is when this now became your local low or your higher low. And then when it comes to making a new high up here, it came back down. This is not yet the low, right? This could have went, this could have did this right here. This could have went down here and then went down here and then went down here. And it still would not have been, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me, it still would not have been uh, the newer low until it forms the next high, which was right here. So now that formed the next high there. Now we can safely say that this was the low. Now some people like to chotch based on the candle width. I prefer to use the wick. There's differing opinions in that regard. I actually did this one slightly wrong. There's differing, and it's still wrong. There it is. Differing opinions in that regard. Um, I prefer like the ultimate confirmation. The ultimate confirmation to me, I want to, I want to break that, break that wick. Okay, so we formed a new high up here. This was told that it was the low when this new high was created. Now, when we're looking for a chotch. We're actually looking to now form a low lower than the previous higher low. Once it broke this level, we had ourselves a chach. Not chacho, chach. Once it broke this low, we had ourselves a chach. When you chach, you don't necessarily ape into a trade. You're looking for entries at that point. Um, and as far as finding your entries, that's up to you. Um, that's Again, that's not the purpose of this video. Um, but when it chotches, you can start to look to change direction, right? So we're on an uptrend. 
So we've now charged down, we formed a low, lower than the previous higher low. We now have a lower low. We're now looking to short at this point. And often a good place to short is somewhere around uh, where, where this charge was, right? There's usually a retrace back uh, to at least that level. Uh, and then of course, as you saw, that would have been, would have been a really good short. Uh, so that, that is how we are charging there. Now let's ride this down. So now when you're looking at a bearish downtrend and you want to know where the lower low is and the higher low or the lower high is, same philosophy as when you were in an uptrend, we're looking to form the low, right? We have this low here. We came back up. We formed a high right there. Then we broke that low all the way down here. This confirms this as the lower high at this point. So we have this low here. We came back up to here at this level here. This is not This is not at this point in time, if we're just looking at 27th of December, this is not a confirmation of the, of the lower high yet. Like I said, just like we were going in the other direction, this could have did this and then popped all the way up to here and then continued down. And then which point once it broke this level, that's when it called this the high. That is when this is the lower high. We broke that level right here. You know, let me get rid of these old ones because this is now getting confusing. Doop, 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 doop. We broke that high. We broke that low right here. This became the new low. Then we came up to, hey. Then we came up to here. We got a new higher, lower high here. Again, not confirmed until we went down to here at 32,921. Then we broke this high right here. This is another chotch. Well, no, no, don't put it there. Well, that is the new high, but we, we broke this high right here. What am I trying to do here? Get out of here. Get out of here, text. There we go. This now became another change character. Now we're looking for longs at this point. We broke this. We're looking for longs. And where are we looking for longs? Somewhere by the low. It shouldn't, usually you wouldn't double chotch on a daily time frame. Uh, you can on lower time frames, but usually you wouldn't double chotch on a lower time frame, on a higher time frame. Then we formed this local low here, right? So now we have a higher low, but it wasn't confirmed until we got up here. Was not confirmed until we got up here. We now have a higher high after this change of character. So now low is right here, which means this can stay in an uptrend all the way down here to 34717. So about 35K, give or take, depending on your exchange. And still not change character back. Again, until we break this 48200, we don't. We're not going to have a confirmed low, higher low uh, in this area, and that's kind of that's kind of what I expect it to be. I kind of expect it to be down down here, uh, but you know, it could it could easily just do this guy right here, which would now confirm this as the higher high, and then we would we would now mark. Well, this is already the higher high. It would confirm this as the higher low, and then we could continue up and do this kind of thing and do this kind of thing. And then we're gonna be looking for another change of character back like this. So you would have your higher low here. We break that. Now all of a sudden we've chotched once again in the other direction and we are looking for shorts. So let me clean up this chart and then we're gonna turn down into a lower time frame, and we're gonna take a look at it uh, a, little bit, uh, a little bit more in depth. Be right back. All right, now we are on a lower time frame. We are now on the hourly. Uh, so uh, it always helps uh, to, let's just go from here, right? It always helps to just kind of draw what you think it is and then kind of figure out what your confirmations are after the fact. So right now we have this like, this like triangle formation here, right? So, you know, we could even go as far as here. 
So why is it important to look at different time frames? Well, if you remember on the daily, we were in an uptrend. Well, on the hourly, we're very clearly in a downtrend. Now, I don't see any chotches here. We have a good high here. We formed a lower low. We came back up here. We did not break that high. And then we came down here and formed a lower low. We got very close to breaking this low here, which would have been another chotch, but we didn't. We are now continuing back in this direction. Once we break this level, this, whoops, this will now be confirmed as the higher low. We'll be looking to break that on the way back up for a double confirmation, which I'm about to explain right now. So when you have a chotch, if for me personally, you you can technically trade the the, the first chart, the first change of character, right? So if we were to if we were to um, for example come back over here, right? That would be that would be a chotch. We would be um, breaking this high here, uh, which would be a chotch. Now, for me to have confirmation, I want to see that continue because on lower time frames, very often this will happen. What is that? That's, a, that's chotching right back in the other direction. We then rebroke the low and we continued down. Um, so when we're, especially on lower time frames, I'm looking for a confirmation. I want it to then come down here, not break this low, and then break this high once again. Once it breaks that high once again, me personally, I am looking to, to trade that. Um, when we're talking about a lower time frame, uh, and I'm going to see if I can find an example on an even lower, lower time frame. We're going to go to one minute next. And we're going to try to find some, we're going to try to find some chaches on the one minute. Uh, but remember, the lower the time frame you go, the quicker the trade, right? Relative to the time frame. So here we are on the one minute time frame. You can already see we've had a couple, couple, couple changes of character here. Uh, so we had, uh, looks like there's a high here. Let me just do it this way. There was a high here, close enough. There was a low all the way down here. We broke up. This is a change of character up. We even, we even formed a new local uptrend, as you can see right here. And then we immediately broke that low right here and then formed a new high here, formed a new low all the way down here. So this is what I'm talking about. On lower time frame, this is only one minute. So what is this? A couple of hours? So uh, immediately we went from a downtrend to an uptrend back to a downtrend like that. Um, so you got to be really careful when you're dealing with chaches on low time frames. Now, you know, if you're, you know, scalping, I mean, that's a good short, right? That's a good trade. Uh, and that, this was a clear, this was a clear, this was a clear change of character right here. Gosh, my phone is blowing up. Shut up, people. Uh, this is a clear change of character right here. We had a low. I can hit it right there, and it was broken. Um, so now we're looking for entry. We come back up, enter our short, and then bam, look at that. Went all the way down here. But, you know, this is very possible, uh, very possible that we go ahead and we form a new a new high. So you got to be careful when you're dealing with low time frame chaches. Now, if you're going to go even crazier, and we're going to look at the weekly, the weekly time frame, sometimes the weekly chaches will line up with your hourly or your daily chaches. Um, it does happen. But as you can see on the weekly, we have our low here. We have our high here. We have our low here. We have our high, oops. We have our high here and we have a low here and we haven't we haven't changed a character we haven't chotched here so on the weekly for bitcoin we are still in an uptrend we are still bullish which is crazy if you really think about the past couple of months and how bad it's been how could we possibly be bullish we are on the weekly that is uh, and it's 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 important to to be aware of these kinds of things when you're thinking about chotches because 
if you're looking for longs and if we were to change a character down here, if we go below 27 and we don't immediately reclaim it, there's a very strong possibility that we're going to be uh, really, really hurting. Now, obviously, I don't, I don't foresee us going to $300, um, but this is the idea. This is why a lot of people are like, if we break this low, it's really bad for Bitcoin. So whenever you hear somebody say that, this is the reality. This is why, this is why they're saying that. Because typically on a higher time frame, when you chotch, it's going to continue that trend for a little while. Um, and it, it, we could even still, if this, if it formed, let's say it formed a low here at 23, we could still come all the way back up here to 45. Um, but I would be looking to short, I would be looking to short this pretty hardcore because uh, that could be like the short of a lifetime, right? Uh, I think we're all set on this video. If I was able to help you, I would love a subscription. Leave a like or a dislike. Comment down below ask you if you have any questions. I know it sounds like such a simple concept, but a lot of people struggle with chaches. A lot of people struggle with these, uh, and it takes them a very long time to understand how it works. And it also doesn't help when you get a lot of people out there that think they know what they're talking about, and they really don't. And they try to explain it, and they suck at it. Uh, so hopefully I did a good job explaining it, because I do know how it works. Uh, and um, yeah, that's, that's it. We have a public Discord server with signals. Come on down. Stop on by. I am there as well, as well as some other very smart people that can help you with your crypto experience. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.